Hey everyone, we are back, yes! And now we are finding an equation in standard form of a parabola passing through three given points. And since we're told to use standard form, our equation for standard form is y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. What we're going to do is we're going to use each set of points and we're going to plug them in. So we have first point we'll do with this maroon, uh, negative 6 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. All right. Clean it up. Negative 6 equals 3 squared is 9, so we have 9a plus 3b plus c. Hmm, I think this is going to remind us of systems of equations. Oh, yeah, fun stuff. Okay, this next one I'll use green. We'll use the point 1 comma negative 2 and plug it in into y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We have negative 2 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. Well, negative 2, 1 squared is 1, 1 times a is a, 1 times b is b, and c. And we'll put the last one in this dark blue. Okay, let's see. We have the point 6, 3, so we could say 3 equals... a times 6 squared plus b times 6 plus c. All right, 6 squared is 36, so we have 3 equals 36a plus 6b plus c. So our system has these three equations. Now, if you want, we can write them all one beneath the other. And I'm going to put them in where we have a, b, then c. So we have 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 6. And then we have a plus b plus c equals negative 2. And then last we have 36a plus 6b plus c equals 3. Now, here's our system of equations. I am going to do an elimination. What I'm going to do is I am going to take negative 1 times the second equation and I am going to add it to each of the other two. So negative 1 times, let me do my steps in different colors here. We'll pick orange here. So we have negative 1 times the second equation, so I get negative a minus b minus c equals 2. I'm going to add this to the first equation. So I have 9a plus 3b plus c equals negative 6. Add Negative a plus 9a gives you 8a. Negative b plus 3b gives you plus 
to be the C's cancel, they are eliminated, equals 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. Now I'm going to do an elimination, equation 2 and equation 3, eliminating the C's. Once again, negative 1 times equation 2. This time I'm going to add it to equation 3. So let's see, we have negative A minus B minus C equals 2. And we're going to add it to equation 3, so 36A plus 6B plus C equals 3. Add, we have 35A plus 5B equals 5. Oh, this is nice. These are all multiples of 5, so I can divide out a 5. Divide everything by 5, and so I get 7a plus b equals 1. Now I can do an elimination with the two orange equations. The 8a, oh, and that second one, this 8a plus 2b equals negative 4. Those are all even numbers. I can divide them all by 2 to make that smaller. So I have 4a plus b equals negative 2. I am going to do an elimination with these two. All right, I am going to take negative 1 times this equation to eliminate the b's. So let me get a different color. I'll grab some bright red. All right, so negative 1 times 4a is negative 4a. Negative 1 times b is negative b. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. Add, and we get 3a, b's cancel, equals 2 plus 1 is 3. Divide by 3. and we get a equals 1. Okay, now we know our first uh, variable. I am going to plug this 1 in place of a into, how about the 4a plus b equals negative 2. So 4 times a is 1 plus b equals negative 2. Well, 4 times 1 is 4, plus b equals negative 2. Subtract 4, and we get b equals negative 6. Now we know a and b. I'm going to plug these into this green equation here. So a plus b plus c equals two, negative 2. So let's see, a is 1, so 1 plus negative 6 plus c equals negative 2. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5 plus c equals negative 2. Add 5, and we get c equals 5 plus negative 2 gives you 3. So now that we know a, b, and c, we can plug them in here, and I might just write it up here. So y equals, in place of a, I put 1 x squared plus bx, b is negative 6, so minus 6x plus c, which is 3. 
Here, up here in red, is our equation. Now, you don't have to write that as 1x squared. It could just be x squared. So we could, I could just rewrite this to clean it up as y equals x squared minus 6x plus 3. There is our parabola in standard form. And it passes through all three of those points. Have fun with this one. These will take a little while.